everyone, it's your girl Havana Sims and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am doing a pumpkin patch and this whole storyline came to me um, just out of the blue and I thought what can I do that was pumpkin related and so I thought about this couple that owns not this farm but this little country-esque house and every year they just open it up to the neighborhood and to the kids and they decorate it and create like this little mini pumpkin maze so that the kids can come and pick the pumpkins and you know everyone just has a good time and it's like a, a community type of thing so that's the idea behind today's video so I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, I had a lot of fun creating this. It's been a long time since I've done a diagonal build. And, um, you know, it, it was a bit difficult beforehand because of the stairs. But now that we have configurable stairs, it's a lot easier for us to be able to do diagonal builds. So I look forward to seeing a lot of people do diagonal builds more often and yeah so now i'm just gonna like put a ton of pumpkins out on the lawn so that i can situate them i was looking for lights <laughs> i finally found them um so yeah i was gonna use like the other way that i had started to look for items but I don't know I'm just not used to that I'm just used to the other way and then if need be just going by packs um, what I'm referring to I'm sorry is the um, filter by function um, that I rarely rarely use but I don't know I like the other way so I already did um, just a little bit of the pumpkin patch here I am just fixing it making sure that you know if you do have sims move on excuse me truck truck that is very rude <laughs> every time I'm set to record some shenanigans happen anyway um, so I already started like the maze here I am just you know putting it all together so that if you do like I said download this build um, it should be accurate for I don't think the Sims can pick up the pumpkins but of course I think they can view it so if you want to create a little story out of that you can and then just pumpkin pumpkin galore <laughs> all over the place um, but we're about to go inside the house in a second and you'll see how I did these stairs now when I tell you I'm in love with the configurable staircases look at that and then you can just plop that right in the corner and so what I did is I just put a wall behind it so that it just sections that little part off just like that and then you know you just have that little catty corner wall with your staircase and once you see the end it just it all comes together um, so I just wanted to talk to you guys a bit about my schedule going forward so you may not know or you some may know I am in the process of creating my Halloween Halloween <laughs> series Enigma this will be the second year that I am doing it and um, I have you know a few of your favorite simmers and then one non simmer he's a gamer um, narrating the stories so I just I need to finish up the machinimas and then hand them the scripts and then attach the scripts to the stories and all that stuff so during this time I'm like extremely busy and I'm focused on that because I really do enjoy the stories that I had made and I cannot wait for you guys to see it I have three of the machinimas down it's four all together I'm currently working on the last one and let me tell you I did not hold back this time last year which was season one um, I didn't add like any mods or anything to the game because I wanted to be low-key I wanted to test the waters and see how I like it and the process and all that this time I for the first time downloaded extreme violence mod just to get that extra oomph like that extra scare factor and that oh my gosh you know type of deal um, 
and it is gory <laughs> it is gory and it is real and it is it's insane that mod um i will be maybe like blacking out some of the scenes so that i don't get like a strike or something on my channel i'll do it in a tasteful way so that if any children are watching or whatever they won't get scared or you i don't know you know how these things are i definitely don't want to i don't know i just don't want to get a strike i don't want there to be like uber violence and stuff like that i mean my channel is family friendly in my opinion but you know they are cracking down on some things so i will have to finesse some of the actions a bit and i'll be able to do that you know just blacking out the scene or adding a filter all that jazz but yeah i am i just cannot wait um, so yeah, like I said, I have one more to go. I'm working on recording the scenes now. I really want the trailer to come out on the first, but I think it will be a little bit too late. But um, other than that, everything is right on track. Like I'm so proud of it. When I tell you I was working hard, your girl was working hard. So let me tell you the dates so i'm looking to have all four videos out of course the last week of october so it'll run from october 28th to the 31st and it'll be an everyday type of thing um each machinima will probably be 10 to 15 minutes long um i was shooting for 20 minutes but i think i'm gonna save that for next year and yeah that's all i'm gonna say on that like the story will continue i think i'll just make it a trilogy and then i'll probably just come up with some new stories for the year after and i would like to make this like a tradition and something that i do for halloween um and then of course i would like to add more machinimas to my channel because i do enjoy making them they are a lot of work but once you get the hang of it and you know you get the angles right and the hot keys and all that you know it's just so much fun to create these stories and yeah you just have to have the patience though <laughs> i see i've seen some people on twitter you know start a machinima and then you know just for like one scene they would be on it for five hours so don't do that to yourself just you know you have to write everything down like scene for scene action by action and then you have to go from there and you have to stick with it and so that's my approach to it if anybody's even interested on how you do a machinima and i can certainly talk about this more if you know you're interested i'm no pro you know i'm not a pro at anything but i do like what i like and you know there are some people that do like it as well so yeah but so here we are in the bed. Oh, I don't know if you guys heard that. I pressed something. <laughs> here we are in the bedroom. Um, I struggle. I like small spaces. But when it comes to the dressers, I'm going to need like a smaller dresser. The dresser that came with the Realm of Magic, um, it was nice, but I don't like those designs on it. So I don't know. Maybe they can add a non design type of dresser but that same length like I need a one square length dresser that would be perfect that would be absolutely perfect so here I am just adding in some knickknacks um, just filling in some spaces I'm also getting a lot more comfortable with um, clutter and stuff and here I am taking way too long <laughs> to find what I need to find, I was trying to find, what was I even trying to find? Oh, this, the magazine holder. I keep forgetting where exactly it is. So, yeah. But I think I'm almost done. I just need to switch up where this table is at. You know me, everything has to be centered. And, yeah, even, there's like so many chairs, even though there's like two bedrooms. But you never know, they may want the neighborhood to come by for some you know some dinner lunch whatever and here we are on the screenshots 
and I just absolutely love this it looks so homey so peaceful so inviting definitely a neighborhood type of activity have a little party you know and everybody can just come and have a good time so anyway you guys I'm gonna let you go and I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you guys soon alrighty bye <music>